Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT, and welcome to Ham Radio Portable. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, today, I'm going to take a look at a renewable power pack from BioNO Battery. Right, this is the BPP160, a 150 watt renewable power source. It's got some neat features. Let's take a look at it, and then we're going to go out and take it out for a test drive. Stick with me. Out of the box, these are the items that uh, come with it. Uh, let's let's take a closer look at the unit and all the accessories. Let's take a closer look at the BPP 160 from BioNO. Right away, it's a very small package. It contains a 13.3 amp hour. 160 watt lithium iron phosphate battery in a very lightweight package. Let's see how much it weighs on my high-tech scale here. High-tech scales is right around a little over three and a half pounds. That's kind of what they advertise with lithium iron phosphate. You get a lightweight package. Uh, looking on the front, you've got a power indicator here that uh, you turn on and it has a level of the amount of uh, charge in it which is full charge with four bars on DC and you can flip over to AC and also four bars on charge. Uh, looking at the side of it there's your two outputs for AC again you got 150 watts AC you can't plug anything really heavy in a light bulb a radio Maybe a, a small air pump or something if you're out needing to pump up a tire or something. Uh, looking at the back side, let's go over all the inputs on the back side of this. Uh, right here is the way you're going to charge it. Your, your basic wall wart here with a barrel connector. This is the input. And you will get your AC charged that way. It also has your your cigarette lighter with a barrel connector. That way you can charge it uh, while you're out portable. I plan to try that maybe on the way back in. Again you've got your uh, two USB outputs here. Charge a cell phone, tablet, that that could be re really handy. And then you've got three outputs for barrel connectors for your 12 volt. And you can get 12 volts uh, through a this adapter here that comes with it, it's the barrel connector to your cigarette lighter receptacle. So right there, you can get operate anything 12 volt DC like that. But since uh, I'm concerned with ham radio, they give you this uh, DC to DC converter. And it comes with, uh, this is where you plug it in with the barrel connector and the output has the power poles on it. All my equipment has power poles. So I, what I will do is just plug it in right here and plug this into my radio and I'm good to go. Uh, also comes with an adapter that adapts this size barrel to the uh, bigger size. So if you got a need for that, it comes with it. Just looking at it, it looks, you know, I look at it as like a consumer grade item here uh, for with some availability for AC. I'll probably charge my laptop up out in the field, so that will use quite a bit of juice. And, uh, and I'll operate radio as long as I can go. Very neat package, carrying handles and all. Okay, I'm about ready to head out to the field with the BPP-160 and give it a test run. But I did want to mention also, it does have the capabilities to plug in solar. You know, they advertise their 28-watt their solar panels. I actually have one of those also, 
but I'm not going to take it with me today because I just want to see what the power pack by itself fully charged will do out in the field. Will, will it last through a parks on the air activation? I don't know, but we're going to give it a good run. I know I will use the uh, AC to charge my laptop and I've got an old laptop that will really uh, use some juice. So let's go give it a test run. I'm in Warm Springs, Georgia, and for the activation site, we're going to use the little White House for our setup, uh, mainly because it's kind of warm down here in Georgia, and uh, I needed some shade. And I know a spot here with some picnic tables, it's quite shady, maybe not the most optimum spot, but uh, It'll be a good one. It's right on down in here. This is the area I'm going to use. Lots of good shade and plenty of room to spread out. Okay, I've got my table all set up here and the antenna is, is deployed. So we're going to use my normal in-fed half-wave antenna. It's up in a nice tree. Nice little shady spot here. So let's plug in the power pack. Okay, I'm going to plug it all in. I'm also going to use my little watt meter, little mini power inline analyzer. I'm going to plug that in along with it. This is the DC to DC converter. It has the power poles on it, so that's going to work perfect. Plug in one there. Okay, we've got it all plugged in. Got my little meter here. Turn it on and see what we're reading here. 13.95 volts, so that's good, especially for a ham radio. Well, let's power it all on and see what we can get going here. Brought my little egg timer. Uh, we're going to time it. We're going to see how long we can go. If we can get through an activation, we're going to operate at 100 watts and, uh, and see how it goes. Whiskey 8, X-Ray Papa got you 5 and 8 into Georgia. Park number is K3724. Back to you. Okay, got K3724. You are 5-9 Ohio. Kilo India 4, again please. Kilo India 4, Quebec Hotel Mike, got you there. 5 8 into Georgia, Park 3724, back to you. QSL, QSL, you're about a 5 5 in the year in North Carolina. This is KI 4, QHM saying 7 3. Kilo Alpha 1, Tango Echo, Papa Tango Bravo. Kilo Alpha 1, Tango Echo, got you, Rich. You're a 5 8 into Georgia, Park 3724, back to you. Five eight. You're a good five nine into Ohio. Thank you for the activation today. November four, Hotel India Delta. You are five nine Kentucky. November four, Hotel India Delta. Thank you. November eight, Oscar Fox Papa. November eight, Oscar Fox Papa. Five nine into Georgia Park. Thirty seven twenty four. Back to you. Thank you, 73. QRZ. Radio, radio. November 8, Radio Zulu Radio, 59 into Georgia. Park number is 3724. Back to you. Roger, roger. Roger. Okay, we're about 21 minutes into the activation and still going strong and still got a little bit of a pile up. QRZ. Whiskey Bravo 5, Lima Alpha India, got you 5 8 into Georgia Park, number 3724. Uh, QSL, I've got 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 QSL,
Alpha Kilo 9, Romeo, got you 5-9 into Georgia. Park number is 3724. Back to you. 5-9, Indiana. Whiskey 5, Juliet, Charlie, Charlie. QSL, you're 5-7, back to Texas as well. 7-3, JCC. Okay, we are at uh, 45, going on 46 minutes into the activation. I've got... 31 contacts so far been running pretty hard and uh, everything's hanging in there solid 100 watts in a wire so okay I remember activating here before in the spring and there's these little bugs everywhere I don't know if they're tiny spiders or ticks and I'm hoping they're not ticks or I'm in trouble but they are all over my table okay we've been running just about well just over an hour 60 minutes there and I'm about to call it on this activation right here the uh, the battery is holding up extremely well uh, I've used about 3.11 amp hours and the uh, voltage on it last I checked is 13.93 so it's uh, holding really good voltage and I'm going to run up the road and uh, see if we can activate another park. The uh, Pine Mountain Ridge is just behind me here a few miles and let's uh, pull it down and, and go for two. Okay, I have moved to another park location. This is another nice spot facing the northeast from the top of the Pine Mountain Ridge here in F.D. Roosevelt State Park. Got my end fed half wave up to the top of that tree. And we're gonna swing over, found some shade over here. Let's check out the setup and, uh, and see if we can get another park out of this uh, battery pack. Okay, this is where we're at on the uh, bioeno pack here. On AC, it's showing two bars. I went ahead and plugged my laptop up to it. When you flip it to DC we're showing uh, two bars so that's uh, half a tank here so we're gonna put the camera on a tripod and uh, get to activating 2173 here in Georgia. Alpha India 4 Fox got you 57 in Georgia, Park 2173. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, Roger, 57. Uh, you're about 58. You're in Eastern. Uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you chasing me down. 73. QRZ. Kilo November 9. And good afternoon. You're five and nine, Illinois. Thanks for Illinois. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. All right. Thanks for Indiana and the call. Seventy-three. Kilo Zulu 9 Whiskey, QSL. Roger, Roger, you got a 5-7 in Wisconsin. Kilo Golf 8, Papa. QSL, you're also 5-7 in Michigan. Good luck. Alright, thanks Tom. 73. 73. Whiskey Alpha 3, Tango Victor Hotel. Whiskey Alpha 3 again. Whiskey Alpha 3, Tango Victor Hotel. Okay, missing that last letter. Whiskey Alpha 3, Tango Victor. Hotel, hotel, hotel. 
Okay, got the hotel. Yeah, Roger, you're by the 5 and 6 into Georgia, park 2173. Hey, thank you from New York State and the contact. Appreciate it. 73. Kilo Charlie 3, Mike Mike Charlie. Kilo Charlie 3, Mike Mike Charlie. Uh, sounding good. 5 7 in Georgia Park. Okay, some final thoughts on the BPP 160 battery. Well, I got in two activations out of it. The first activation was 60 minutes long and I made approximately 34 contacts and I was just running radio alone on that activation so the battery looked to be when you looked at the indicator uh, at half half a tank so I carried it to another activation up the road and this time I plugged in my laptop and as the day was getting longer the gray line was moving in so the activation was really uh, off the chain. I made uh, 54 contacts uh, in about 35 minutes, and that's operating at a duty cycle of about 50%. I mean, they were just, just like you saw there, one right after another, 100 watts completely. So uh, I ran it all the way till it quit, and I was running my laptop. So I will say, you get a lot in a small package with this. You get a 13.3 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. The price point on this is, is right around $205, $200. So you've got that option. And with all the neat things you can plug into, if you need them, that's great. I'm, I feel pretty sure you can go out QRP all day long with this. If you want to operate 100 watts, uh, I'm, I believe you can get at least one to one activation in of an hour with no problem at all. But at that price point, you have uh, other options within BioNO. Uh, if you don't need to plug in any AC, this is what I use. I use a 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and uh, your price point on this is is again around two hundred dollars. So. Uh, you just kind of got to weigh it out. Do you need any AC? Do you need to plug in your cell phone and such like that? If you do, you might want to go with the power pack. But if you just want just sheer battery power, you might be better off this way. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, you could go either way with it. If you like the video, how about uh, liking and subscribing? I like to do videos like this and take stuff out and test it. Don't think this is designed for uh, operating at 100 watts, but but we did it and it works. So so there you go. So uh, appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you again on the next ham radio portable. 73 everybody. If you do purchase one of these, keep in mind the uh, owner's manual that came with the unit. This one here. It had a lot of misinformation in it, and I had to call Kevin at BioNO and get some uh, things straightened out. Uh, lot, lots of things in it was incorrect, so he can send you the updated operator's manual, or you can just go straight to the website.